you to my channel. Today I am crafting live and in usual form. I have a bunch of pieces here that I have cut out and all I am doing in this video is assembling the You've Got Mail die set from Tonic Studios. I finally received. I was hoping to get this about a month ago but here it is and I am laughing to myself because of what just happened to me but I uh, am going to check my phone to see if anyone joins me. I'm going to just take a look here and try to find my own video as housekeeping rules, of course, as usual, just to make sure that if anyone does say hello that I can respond. And here we go. So I'm going to wait and see if anyone trickles in. And I'm hoping that my connection remains because I'm already seeing some buffering but let's hope that this gets better all right I'm going to zoom in a little bit because inevitably on my screen here hello I see someone with me um let's see hopefully you can see that better but this video is for the Tonic Studios uh mailbox and I'm going to be assembling this. I've cut out the pieces and I'm going to just start gluing here the layers and if anyone comes in then I will explain what this is all about. In fact I think I'm just going to start by applying adhesive or getting myself organized here. I'm going to set this aside for a moment. Don't need it just yet but I'm going to do my puzzle piecing here because this is going to be a lot of layering and hopefully it will be an easy enough assembly just as they usually are and if you're re-watching this then thank you so much for tuning in so to speak i appreciate your support if you've never seen one of my videos I don't announce generally my live videos, but I do appreciate your support. I appreciate any new subscribers. If you want to join me here, this is just a crafty channel where I show you different um, projects that I make. They vary in style, but I try to just keep things lighthearted and fun um, and not take myself too seriously, which... Um, you'll discover quickly if you ever watch my videos because I make so many mistakes. I have gone ahead and cut out so, uh, several pieces knowing that I will not necessarily need all of them. I just wanted to give myself some what I would call crafting insurance here by cutting out more than I needed just in case I wanted to make things a little bit sturdier I could layer them. Um, I think that's a clever way of going about things. Hi, I see that I have some friends here with me. Please say hello and introduce yourself if you're new. And I will explain what's going on here. If you have any questions, of course, I'm happy to respond. I have here some papers that have been in my stash for a while. And as you can tell, I'm just separating all of this because it's all going to be part of the project that I'm making today. And it's probably going to be self-explanatory, but of course, if it's something that presents a challenge to you, then I'll be happy to, uh, to let you know what this is all about. And it's looking like I missed a piece, so I will need to cut out one more piece. But in the meantime, I'm going to be applying adhesive here to all of the parts that I need. These are my extras. These are my base pieces, and I'm going to start here. And the great thing about Tonic Studios dies, of course, apart from the how they look, is the fact that, you my scissors here, the fact that they also have score lines for your project, so you don't have to guess as to where you need to fold. It's looking like I had something stuck on my nail there. Um, and that makes life a whole lot easier, of course. And let's see here. 
just going to continue here placing adhesive. I've never made this before. It's my first time assembling this project. But as soon as I'm done placing adhesive everywhere, we will see how easy this is to put together. If you're able to say hello, please do so. I'll be checking the chat. And hopefully you also are enjoying this time of year, getting gifts ready for loved ones. There we go. This project, by the way, is excellent for gift giving of, um, as I wrote in the description bar, um, if you have someone that you want to give a gift card to, or cash or anything like that, this would serve that purpose very easily. Um, and it makes a really adorable presentation. And depending on the papers that you use, you can make this a masculine or feminine project, even for a baby. It really, I think it's so varied, versatile, I think is a word I should be using, that that's one of the reasons why I even wanted to get this. And pardon me, I know that I'm doing a lot of tedious little work here, but this is part of crafting. You have to apply adhesive, and in my live videos, I tend to leave in all the nitty-gritty bits, if you will, that you otherwise don't see when I edit a video. But it gives an opportunity for the viewer also to see what actually happens behind the scenes. I don't do vlogging, but... I do like to uh, share what truly happens every now and then. Mistakes and all. There's that piece. I believe on here I only need one piece of adhesive, but if that's not the case, I will find out in a minute. So I'm going to set this aside for just a second and I'm going to start layering some pieces. Now this has a lot of little bitty pieces that I have to clean out. I'm going to do my best to do this here and it's going to be quite messy but again I mentioned that before. This is usually the behind the scenes stuff. This die set comes with a lot of intricate layers that of course give Tonic Studios their unique look. I've used some DCWV white cardstock to cut these layers out. Or I, sh I think I said white and I meant gold. So that's what you see here. Hopefully you can see that. Thank you for the thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And okay, this is the second layer. They're both the same like that. And I do see I have more friends here watching. Please chime in, say hello. I'd love to know who's here. I some, sometimes have a vague idea, but then it's not always the case. All right, so here are those layering pieces that I just cleaned up. These are actually going to go on top of these. Hi, Angie. Thank you so much for saying hello, sweetie. I'm going to start layering these pieces here. And just to clarify, I am making... Uh, let me show you. I'm, I'm, you probably saw the cover of the video, but I'm making this mailbox from Tonic Studios. And it's the first time that I'm making it, so we'll see how this turns out. But I definitely went ahead and cut out most of the pieces. I think I'm only missing one, which I think I'm going to be able to cut out rather quickly. But I'm trying to just make sure that I have all of my little fiddly bits taken out before I start gluing anything. So here we go. Bonsoir, Veronique. Welcome, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. 
I got very excited when I saw this uh, mailbox when Tonic Studios was mentioning the release because I knew that it was going to be very versatile and they did release two different styles. One of them is the one that you're going to see today and the other one is the type of post box that you normally would see in England or in Europe which is the longer one that that's more uh, tubular but I decided to just pick this one up since it's the one that the people who would receive it from me would be more familiar with um, and I just I actually love mailboxes and I take pictures of mailboxes if you can believe that because I want to have a compilation of them and I decorate my living room also has mailboxes the the antique style so I know that that's not a thing for everyone but I happen to think that they're absolutely beautiful especially the older kind people tended to you know pay more attention to that sort of thing in the past than they do now so okay so you see these two pieces these are going to be on the side of the box and then there is an intricate piece that goes on the front but I think okay I have this one here and I'm not quite sure if let's see here this is the first time I'm assembling this so I think I'm gonna adhere it to this but I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is what goes on the front we'll find out we shall see oh thank you thank you very much Veronique the papers, these papers, by the way, are very old. I had them in my stash for years. Um, and they are by recollections, except for the gold. The gold is from DCWV. And I figured for the season, it would be nice and festive. So there's that layer. I'm also going to layer these pieces here. And I hope I don't go too slow for you guys. Oh, Angie, I do recommend it. And here's why. The If you have used Art Glitter Glue, then you know that it is an amazingly awesome adhesive. It's very, very good. It does what it says that it's going to do. But you turn your eye for one second and the nozzle will clog because it dries so quickly. I would say that the main difference between Barely Art and the Art Glitter Glue is that the Barely Art Glue will not do that to you. It's not going to solidify so quickly that you then have to be concerned about that thin nozzle so much. The other thing is that this glue is not so sensitive to changes in temperature and if you've ever seen my videos then you know that this room particularly that I'm in does fluctuate in temperature and in the winter in fact art glitter glue won't even ship because it will solidify uh, this one won't this one will remain liquid and so you don't have to be too concerned about that not that you should ever leave your glue in a place where the temperature fluctuates a lot because it's, it's just not good for the for any glue um because of you know let's face it there's water in there and chemical changes happen when temperature changes happen but to answer that i i do recommend this it's uh very nice so Okay, I think I kind of threw myself off a little bit, guys, and that's only because I cut out duplicates of certain things. <laughs> so I'm trying to look at this and simplify it in my mind for a second here because I don't think I needed as many pieces and I got ahead of myself. Okay, I'm going to start here. Now, here's why I mentioned, um, yes, yes, you're absolutely right. Um, this one came with several types of tips also. I just haven't found the need to use the other ones, but it does come with a tip that, in fact, I can take this out. Now, sometimes because it gets warm in here, I do get a little bit of that leakage situation, which I can just clean with a baby wipe. But 
This one does come with a tip that you can use if you're going to leave it closed overnight, that sort of thing. But if you see, that cleans off real easy, and then I can just put it right back, just like that. You can screw it right back in. And that's as complicated as that tip gets there. Um, so, I, you know, you can tell, just water soluble, and it, it's really awesome. Um, so, um, uh, I think, yes, uh, I agree, Veronique. I can read what you're, you're writing and understand it. I don't know, you already know this, but I don't know how to respond in French. But uh, I would say we. Oui. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. Now, I want to show you something, because this is new to Tonic Studios. I was not aware, because I was trying to take the plastic cover, this comes with a plastic cover, and it also comes kind of with a map of laying out the different dies that you get. And to kind of give you an overview, this die set not only comes with the decorative pieces that I've cut out, like for instance, this one here, look at how gorgeous that is. This is this die here. However, and, and mind you, it doesn't cut that border. I just happened to cut it short, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But it also comes with a second one here, and this one does have a heart in the center. That's the one that looks like... Um, it looks like this. This is the one in that sample. I have cut out this one. And the reason I cut it short is because I was thinking that this box part here is actually going to cover it. So I purposely only cut this portion of it because I think I'm going to cut it down and then glue it on top. We'll see about that. But then as you can see here, it's got those layering pieces and that's precisely what I was gluing down a minute ago. So it's got this one, right? It's got this one and those are for the lid. So that would be that one there. And then it has the side panels, which I just adhered together. That's this one and, of course, the one on the other side. Two of those. Um, this was the front piece that I was not quite sure about that I glued together. And I was thinking, okay, that's got to go here. But did I cut it right? Is it the correct size? I'm not quite sure. Because, again, I cut more pieces than I needed just because I had the paper out. And then it cuts this piece, um, which will be for the little card that you can insert into the mailbox. Um... Also, this piece here, which is decorative, and it goes here, as you can tell, on the border. It cuts the little hearts. I mean, it comes with so many beautiful dies. It also comes with a little stamp. It comes with the phrases uh, post and mail. It comes with the phrase love, mail also, and the little tag that will coordinate with that. It also comes with another layering option for the lid, which cuts out with this piece. So I chose this selection here, but you can do a different combination. It comes with, um, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, the little closure here, which is a little tab, and that looks like this. And it does emboss into it. Let me see if I can show you. It is, it's extremely versatile. And just as Veronique said also, they're very refined looking. They make your projects look like, you know, you really tried hard and it does all the work for you. Now, here's why I was laughing at myself. It comes with this little tab here and normally you push the tab and then you put your little acetate cover, which does, by the way, come with it, okay, which is phenomenal. And I'm trying to put it back and going, why am I having trouble with this? I was struggling. Well, the joke's on me because, guess what? If you do this, which I didn't know, it's got all the steps in here for you now. <laughs> this is new from Tonic Studios, and I had seen the video where Jody showed it, and I completely forgot. So, it tells you exactly how many to cut. And here I am going, gosh, you know, uh, I know I can figure it out, but they truly went the extra mile. So this company is a company that I'm thrilled with to begin with. But the fact that they've now added this to me says a whole lot. They're listening to the customers and they're giving the step-by-step -step visual instructions, which for so many is very important, especially if you're hard of hearing, 
and you watch the videos and you cannot follow along uh, because let's face it, not everyone speaks English, not everyone can understand it. So I thought that that was phenomenal. And you know, now I know why I couldn't reach the little tab. Oh, thank you, Angie. I the, I had not ho a whole lot of a say in this. This just was a paper pen that I had laying around. And, uh, and I decided, you know what, I haven't, um, you know, really invested in, um, in getting a whole lot of Christmas paper because I had older paper that I, for some reason, had not used. And I thought, you know what, L let's just go with that, right? So, according to this, <laughs> I'm so foolish, I was laughing at myself going, oh my gosh, look at that. So, I'm about to look really smart in a moment. Not really, but you know what I mean. I'm, I'm now going to look as if I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and all I'm going to do is look at my little chart that I have over there. So, um, yes, absolutely. And that's what's great about the paper pads, right? We're kind of spoiled in that way that we don't have to worry too much. Um, now, just to let you know, here's a, something I'm going to recommend. I am using just 65 pound red cardstock. And the reason being that I have about 500 pounds of this cardstock. <laughs> and I would recommend that you do the base in 110 pound cardstock or heavier. This is not. So I am going to have to kind of layer the inside. That's a step that you could skip if you're using better cardstock than I am. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, problem from in France to Amazon. So, Veronique, correct me if I'm wrong, but you, you said you have issues. Um, is it ordering from, from Amazon because it's not French? Am, am I right? Angie, I don't know if you speak French, but <laughs> I know that problème means problem pour moi, for me in France. Amazon. I think I read that right. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know if um, Amazon just doesn't have a French version of it. That would be a shame. But as you can tell here, I have um, gone ahead and applied my adhesive now it says here okay it's looking like maybe i do need more than these let me see here uh, this is the front panel and it says to let me see here one second i'm trying to follow along here but i think sometimes the instructions are made by people who are not left-handed <laughs> and i do everything backwards Hmm. Let me see here. Nope, I think I had it right. This goes here. Yeah, that stands to reason. Okay, I'm going to follow my own instincts, guys, because I'm looking at the instructions and... Mm -mm. All right, so we're going to use this kind of like angled piece. And this is the this is going to be the front, but it's going to, you know, we're going to see this part on the outside. This is one side of the box. This is another, so the shorted, shorter angle, sorry, is obviously gonna match here. So that's how we're gonna put that together. I think I understood half of that, Veronique. And I am so sorry. Um, I'm translating what you say in my brain. And just to let you know, this is why I was just quiet. I'm translating what you're writing to my uh, to myself in Spanish, and that's how I'm able to understand part of partially what you say. But I do apologize that I'm not, um, I don't have the full comprehension. Mm. 
but I will try, Veronique, what I'll, I'll what I'll be doing is I'm going to be uh, trying to um, go back in the chat and then translate whatever I didn't know so that I can learn. Because I, I feel, you know, I owe you that much <laughs> since you're such a wonderful participant in my live videos. And I truly appreciate you that I don't want to ever make you feel like you're left out because of the the language barrier because i know how that feels i've lived it so i'm gonna i'm going to be more um diligent about that okay hon yes angie when you speak spanish you can pretty much figure out two-thirds of the languages out there at least for me that's the case i can read it but then sometimes in context I, I lose or i lose the context of what's being said um oh my gosh thank you angie <laughs> i would appreciate that so much but as you can see here i'm just layering the outer pieces the decorative pieces as this remains flat because before i start making a dimensional item i want to make sure that all the intricate pieces are on there it'll make it a whole lot um easier for you if you ever want to make a 3d project okay oh i did understand that then yay <laughs> now let me read out loud what veronique wrote because this is how i read it in my head you're right yeah google has no clue <laughs> Google's the worst when it comes to that. Okay, so I do think this goes here, guys, just to let you know. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. So I was reading, let's see, Problème pour moi, pour François, pas comprendre, mais je vois une merveille. I don't, oh gosh, I think I just chewed that up, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that I'm totally botching it. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Hi, Josie. Welcome, sweetie. We're making a mailbox. And trying to learn French. <laughs> the only thing that I know how to say is, Il se fatigue. <laughs> Which I am. Il se fatigue. <laughs> oh, gosh. So... We've got these pieces here, and according to our little map, the next part is this one here. And I am going to double this up because, again, I mentioned this is only 65 pound paper. Maravillosa. Sí, una cosa, yo lo que veo es una cosa maravillosa. Angie, that's, that's what I understood. And uh, thank you, Veronique, for such a sweet, sweet... Uh, you know, kind thing to say. So I'm here cutting away, and I'm so sorry if I was out of frame. I'm cutting away those tabs. Do you see how that has a little line there? Let me see if you guys can see that. See that little line? I'm cutting just inside of that because I'm giving myself a little um, layering piece for the inside. And again, this is just for structure because I didn't use good paper. <laughs> That's all. And I'm going to adhere this on the inside here. This is like those little games we used to play when we were little where they would give you different shapes in school and you had to figure out, you know, where they went or how many different, uh, those standardized tests. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. How many different shapes you could come up with with the little pieces. Um. Oh, thank you. <laughs> This is, this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to do this first. And again, just for support. So those three pieces are going to be gone now. Or four, I mean. Okay. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for joining us, Debbie. By the way, Debbie, I just wanted to let you know while you are here, I, um, I often watch your videos on the TV when I'm trying to rest. Um, I find your videos to be very calming and I love your voice. It, it's, it's so soothing. You have such a soothing quality about you. 
Um, and so I don't always comment on your videos because obviously if I'm watching it on the television, I can't, you know, type or anything like that. Um, but it helps me to see them better. And I really enjoy your crafting. So I, I do appreciate the fact that you're even here because I'm, you know, I get kind of starstruck when <laughs> certain people will say hello and I'm just like, wait, what? You clicked on my video? <laughs> Because I know, Debbie, I can tell from your crafting that you're a very seasoned crafter and you know what you're doing. So, um, I admire that. Okay, so do you guys see how when you fold this, you immediately see that little shape? Well, needs a bottom and that's what this was. So, naturally, you're going to have to figure out, okay, which side is going to glue where. This one, if you tried to put that down, let's just say you try that. It's longer than this base here, so naturally you're going to have to flip it over, and then this is the side that's going to glue right there. Definitely. Oh, hi, my scrapbook loft. Please let me know your name, your first name, uh, and welcome. So I'm left-handed, so I'm going to go from left to right, but you guys get what I mean. This shorter side is what's going to go over here. And just, if you even need to draw a line, you can do that. Um, if you're anything like me, you know, where you're very likely to just kind of mess it up. <laughs> then you can draw the little lines there, and then that way you can give yourself a limit. Um, there we go. And just fold that over. And I'm going to actually fold it just like this also. And it's not 100% straight, but I'm going to forgive myself for that. And then I'm just going to burnish that. Hi, Judy. Welcome, welcome. And yes, Angie, I, I don't know if I mentioned, but yes, absolutely check out Debbie's channel. She makes gorgeous... Um, mini albums and uh if you like peter rabbit which i do i absolutely love peter rabbit then you're gonna love debbie's channel because she likes peter rabbit so you see debbie i kind of stalk you <laughs> so i'm now going going to join the sides here just like that and i'm being gentle because again this paper, this uh, red paper, is not the best. So I'm kind of regretting my decision of making this project like this, but oh well. I wasn't thinking too much. Now I'm going to join this side here. And what you want to be careful of is that you don't get too much of a gap in that corner because that can happen quite easily. But if it does, you can always put a little trim put some pearls there or whatever you know but hey look at that we're halfway there and I'm already loving this um so now let's go ahead and let's see let's try French so French scrappers are something song Angie help me what does song mean <laughs> s-o-n-t now, I am going to, let's see here. I'm going to cut this piece here as I did before for the bottom. I'm going to double up that front piece. And again, this is just personal preference because I used my cheapo red paper. I shouldn't say cheap. I just, uh, I have a huge lot of it and I wish I could share it, but it just costs so much money. Oh, thank you. Um, it costs so much money to ship, but it, you know what? I'm going to put it out there. If you're willing to pay for the box, if anybody needs red paper, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> Got too much of it. All right, so I'm just going to layer this on the inside, kind of make that look a little bit cleaner. Not that anyone's going to see it, but it's going to give me the um, the sturdiness that I'm looking for here. And guys, have you noticed anything different? You get a brownie point if you do. <laughs> anything different about this video? Anyone, anyone? 
Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm so tempted to try to cut that down because I, I forgot to cut it shorter, but I'm leaving it as it is. All right, now the next piece that we need is the background piece here. And I'm hoping I, no I don't ruin this. But uh, as you can tell, I cut it out multiple times. Uh, so. Yes, thank you. You noticed. R. Okay. La. So the French scrappers are. Oh, gosh. I'm struggling. I don't know what. Ew. Does that mean you? Ew. Let me know so I can learn. <laughs> All right. I'm going to layer this. Uh, this intricate part that I said I cut out too long, I'm just, I'm gonna layer it here, but I am going to cut away that piece there that I don't need. So let's go ahead and do that. And I, I know I'm going slow guys, but you let me know if it's frustrating. <laughs> Feel free to yell at me if need be. I'm, I won't be offended by that. So I'm gonna make this about two inches tall just to give myself here a, you know, a size. I'm just gonna do that, cut it down. Okay, and I'm going to add this to the green layer that I cut out. And now, let's see here. Thank God for this little tip because I don't think I could do this otherwise. So Angie noticed the pink um, mat that I have on my desk here. I went ahead and invested in this. Actually, I'll be honest. I had some Christmas money left over from last year that I hadn't used. So I went ahead and got it at Michael's. They had, and this is a Cricut mat. Because I know that my videos were extremely annoying with all the glare. And I wanted to make sure that you guys could see what I was doing without me having to com complain about my lights. Um... And I hope that that helps. Oh, I wonder. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. I owe you big time, honey. <laughs> Thank you so much for translating that for me. I really appreciate it. So just to let you know, this is going to be going right here on top, which is so shameful to cover all of this gorgeous paper. So, you know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to cut that. Because I'm thinking that I don't want to waste that. And that's exactly where the lid is going to go. So, let's be ruthless here. Let's be fierce. <laughs> and cut the paper regardless of the consequence. Alright, I'm going to cut this down. And again, this is just my my assembly of this. This is no cardinal rule on how to go about it. I just don't like to waste glitter paper. <laughs> In fact, this could go on the back if you wanted it to, or on the note, or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and place this on my base piece of which I do have two cut out, and it does show on the instructions to cut out two. I don't know why, but maybe because they know you're gonna need that sturdiness because this is gonna be front heavy. So I'm guessing that they're asking you to go ahead and cut out this very thick, because if not, your little mailbox is gonna topple over whenever you put something in there. So that is my intuition, you know, what it tells me there oh my gosh but isn't that beautiful just that alone as a little insert for a mini album which you know I'm gonna want to use this for that oh my gosh loving it so here's my second piece I'm going to double that up and I'm gonna be generous up here to make sure that that's got a good foundation And let's cover the entire thing as much as possible. Okay. 
And now this is just going to layer with itself. Not rocket science at all. However, if you do have a personalized stamp, as I do with the name and all that bit, get that done first before you put that together because you know you're not going to be able to do so afterwards. I do love to burnish what I make when there's a lot of glue before it completely dries also so you don't get any curvature on that. And that's just, you know, newbie tip there. Okay, and as I had said before, if you wanted to decorate the back of that, then, you know, you can use your pretty paper for that. Like so. In fact, I could even do another pocket here, just adhere it on three sides. So let's go ahead and do that since I just thought of it. Why not, right? Um, I'm wondering if I should do... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to score this. And here's Raquel crafting on the fly when I start making things up on the spot. But this is what I like about crafting, of course, is that you can do that. I'm going to just go ahead and go in half an inch. And I just crack the paper a little bit because I'm a beast. <laughs> I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to have to forgive myself for what I just did there. But I folded it over so that I would have a lip. And I'm going to glue that part down. And of course, this is just extra. This bone folder, Angie, I got on Amazon. They're typically very expensive. Um, however, as I just mentioned a moment ago, I'm a bit of a beast. <laughs> Not too delicate sometimes. And I did kind of, you know, mess up the tip, but it works beautifully. It, it's really nice and strong. You just kind of have to be careful. What I did was that I pushed the nib too far in the groove. Um, but it came in a pack of two and it was at a, an excellent price. Um, they also sell them, of course, just about every company. I know Tonic Studios sells one also. I'm going to be so mad at myself for that, that I think I want to put something on there now. And the good thing is that I have more paper. <laughs> so I'm going to add this. Uh, maybe not. Should I even care? Maybe I shouldn't. Let's just keep going. All right, I'm going to add adhesive on three sides here only to make this into a pocket on the back. So many possibilities with these dies, really, guys, because you can combine them with whatever you already have. Yes, you're right. Washi tape is, <laughs> I joke around and say washi is like the blood of Christ. It covers a multitude of sins, let me tell you. Because there's so much that you can cover with washi. It's incredible. All right, so I'll probably do that later. I'm just going to go ahead and burnish this now. Just on three sides there. I just hate to, you know, to waste that gorgeous paper there. Now, the front is going to need the lid. And what I need to figure out is, do I want this lid before or after I put the bottom on? I'm thinking after, I did cut it twice again because I'm going to double it up. Now I'm not going to double up the seam part there, so let me go ahead and cut that away. And again, I'm doing it just under that line because this is just as a um, um, reinforcement, if you will. I couldn't think of the word. Okay, so I cut that away. I now can add this in the bottom here, just like that. I'm gonna go, go ahead and do that. Yes, you're right, Judy, I could do that. I could definitely ink it. Absolutely. In fact, you know what I do? Um, Sometimes I'm going for a clean and simple look, and if I mess something up to the point where I'm just like, really, Raquel, did you did you really just do that? <laughs> I will get out my gesso, and all of a sudden, that project becomes shabby chic. <laughs> it's happened more than once, and I just, you know, obliterate it with gesso, and sometimes they turn out way better. 
um, because of that. So, you know, you just take the opportunity and make a mistake uh, into your, your strength rather than your weakness. So I'm just going to fold this over because it does have that edge there. But now I feel more confident about it because it's doubled up there. I'm going to go ahead and adhere, while I'm thinking about it, the layering pieces here. I'm loving all the detail on here. It really is so pretty. Even though it's a small box, but we'll measure it when I'm done assembling this so that you guys can see how big it's actually going to be. Yeah, Judy, this, this is, you know, I always say improvise, adapt and overcome just like a Marine. When you're in your craft room, nobody needs to know. <laughs> I just know that I'm not going to, you know, I don't know better than anyone else. I learn right along with everyone else. So I, I like to share those little tips because the worst thing is to get yourself halfway through a project and then feel like you need to throw it out because you messed it up, you know. Now, I feel like I had cut this. Out. Yes, I did. I cut these pieces out twice. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, decorate the inside of the mailbox. Just because if I had a say in manufacturing of mailboxes, I would probably want the insides to be pretty too. So why not? Let's go ahead and decorate the inside there. And of course, this one doesn't have that frilly bit, but that's okay. At least it's something pretty. I'm going to go there, right here. Oh, thank you, Angie, and I appreciate your patience. I'm uh, not feeling so great. I'm going to be completely honest about it. I'm not feeling so wonderful right now. So I decided to craft to get myself out of that headspace. Um, and it always helps. And it definitely always helps when you guys are here with me. So I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Okay. This is now going to go here. So what I'll do is take the bottom piece off first. And I'm going to see, okay, if I can, yep, I'm going to line it up here at the bottom. Make sure I'm meeting at the corners there. And I think you guys can see that. And now I'm going to pull that tab over just very gently. Just like that. Check it at the bottom. Make sure there's no huge gap. But let me tell you, if you see the adhesive like that, don't panic. Because that's what the rubber eraser was created for. Um, yes, definitely, Angie. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to burnish that really well. Now I'm going to go ahead and be patient and just go one side first. Making sure that my edges there are meeting. I would say don't get too ahead of yourself when it comes to this because then you get warping. Just like that. And I'm just going to press gently. And if you've noticed my tacky nails, <laughs> I have a story behind that too. <laughs> oh gosh. I feel so, oh, not classy right now, but I'm going to see how long they last. <laughs> I I had an impulse too late at night shopping decision that I made. <laughs> oh my gosh. And ended up with these crazy things on my fingernails. But I figured, hey, you know what? If I was bold enough to, to order it, then I'm going to be bold enough to try it out and see if they work. Um, although I think if Wendy, uh, from Wandy's Crafts, um, I think that's the name of her channel. If she sees me, she's probably going to hit me upside the head for doing that <laughs> and not ordering from her instead. Okay. So I've gone ahead here. Now, let me show you something in particular. The, the little bits that you may want to know if you get this die set or any other 3D item. Because I added two layers of paper here that are decorative, do you see the difference there? Um, you may want to, if you prefer to have everything absolutely perfect, 
you may want to allow that paper to go all the way down to the bottom so that you don't get that gap there. To me, it's no big deal. So that's, you know, a matter of preference there. I'm going to go ahead and burnish this on the sides and I'm being very gentle. But this would be excellent for teachers if you're uh, just giving them some candy or a gift card. Um, heck, your mailman, of course. That would be awesome, right? Now let's put the little hinge. And I'm going to just curl this back because the, the adhesive was wider than my paper. And I'm going to line it up first, just as I did the bottom. I'm going to line it up all the way here to the top. And wait, let me zoom in. Sorry, guys. I'm going to line it up here. And once I have it straight, now is when I'm going to fold this down. And I hope this lines up. We'll find out in a second. But I think... Yes. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> so as you see here, let me show you something. This side here, do you see this gap here? That's happening because my paper is not as thick. So I would recommend the thicker paper to make this project. But I'm now going to go ahead and fold this down very gently. Oh, thank you guys. You're very, very generous to me. I just was annoyed because I don't typically do this sort of thing. You guys know these are the kind you stick on and whatever. Um, They came in such a way, and not to make this video about my nails because I think that's kind of ridiculous, but do you see the gap there? <laughs> just like the gap in my crafting. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> That annoyed me, so, but that's my OCD, of course, you know, most people don't care about that sort of thing, I don't think. All right, this piece here is what's going to help us close our mailbox. So you have to fold it in half, and for some reason, this didn't score. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the paper that I used or the fact that I just cut it out so quickly, but... I'm thinking it might have a score line, but you want to line up the little circles there if you can. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You may or may not be. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm trying to press it without ruining it. So you're going to do that, align those little circles, and then it does have a little score line. It's barely visible because of the type of paper that it is, but these are going to fold out like that and like that kind of like a letter y see that that's how it's going to fold out now in the center here i'm going to apply my adhesive and i hope that i've been in frame and i'm just going to press that together and hold that for just a second until it makes you know good contact with the glue there But yes, yeah, for as for the nails, it's it's what happens when I'm on Instagram a little bit too long. <laughs> they were not fun to put on. Not uh, I don't know. I I did not have a good experience with it. Thank you, Angie. I appreciate the feedback there. I've got glue all over. All right. Now for this type of fiddly thing, I do like to use hot glue. First, I'm gonna feed it into this opening. Make sure that it's aligned there perfectly. Then I'm going to bring it over. And I was out of frame there. Sorry, guys. I'm going to bring it over like that. And now I'm going to apply some hot glue here just to the box. Let me show you guys. Just there, okay? I don't know if you can see it, but you'll, you'll notice in a moment. And now... You know, making sure that this is nice and straight, I'll press it down, just like that. Just a tiny bit of pressure, not too much. Okay, so now this will be nice and even. So that's a nice little trick to, to do so that you don't have to worry about placement. 
And now this is going to open just like that. Voila! Isn't that cute? So there are the other pieces, of course, that are the piece that will now feed inside of the box. Let me zoom out for just a second here. There we go. Um, however, I do have a piece of ribbon here that I'm going to cut for the closure. And you can do, of course, whatever ribbon you want. So there's that. And I do need one more piece to assemble this, which I forgot. So I'm going to do that very fast. You can bear with me. This does come with the foundation piece for the little card, which looks like that. I just forgot. So I'm going to cut that quickly. And how are you guys doing so far? You love to tra travel or travel? Oh, thank you, Debbie. I'm going to use my platform here, or I'm sorry, my, um, oh, what's it called? Anna Griffin. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to think, and I can't talk. You guys know what this is, the doohickey thingy. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? Oh, die cutting machine. Oh, gosh, I couldn't get that word out. Um, I'm going to... Let's see, I think I want to use nice heavy cardstock for this since I, oh wait, I know where it is. Excuse me, one second. I have white cardstock and white cardstock and not so white cardstock. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure to grab the, the correct white cardstock for this. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm gonna cut this down to, I think, well, let me give myself four inches there, I'm not quite sure. Yep, that's about right. And as I said, I'm gonna measure this out so that you guys, if you are interested in this mailbox, you can see which is the final size. I'll do that in just a moment. I'm just gonna cut this out quickly here. And then we'll do the little note. Oh, sorry, Judy, let me show you. Uh, Da -da. It is the Empress. Do you see that? How I just fed that in? So that's my electronic um, die cutting machine. I got this because of my issues cutting with the manual machine causing me pain in my hands. And I think it's worth its weight in gold. It's, it's just wonderful. It's helped me quite a bit. Um, so, excuse me one second. How are you? Good. You had a good day? I like your tie. <laughs> oh, and your socks. Oh my gosh. Uh, my son looks like Dr. Seuss, guys. Sorry about that. My son just got home from school, so I wanted to oh, make sure. Yes, I am. Hello. <laughs> he says hello. <laughs> yes, Judy, the difference between the Gemini and the Anna Griffin, I believe, is that... Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but can you use 3D embossing folders in the Gemini? Because I'm not quite sure. I'm not familiar with that machine, even though, I, you know, I've seen it on video. But, um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Angie. Yeah, my, my son had, um, th this week in school, they don't have to wear a uniform. So he got to go in dressed up differently, and he's wearing striped red and white socks a santa hat and a tie with baubles on it so he looks like a, a storybook character right now so cute and okay so i'm going to i'm sorry guys i got quiet because i'm trying to make sure that i put adhesive on here and I'm concentrating. <laughs> oh, okay. You've never tried, Judy? Yeah, as far as I know, 
And I mean, I could be completely wrong, but as far as I know, that's what's different about the, the Anna Griffin and the Gemini is its ability to handle the 3D embossing dies, but I could be completely wrong. So don't quote me on that. I'd, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Okay, so I made a hot mess here, guys, with the, the glue. Let's just pretend that I didn't. <laughs> because that was very fiddly. And now this cut out of the center, so you do have the option of leaving it, taking it out, whatever you like. Then this will layer on top. And this has the bits here that fold out, if you can see that. And that's where you're going to insert either a gift card. In fact, let me see if this one fits, because I have one. So let's find out if that would fit. Let me glue it down first. Um, and then that way you guys have an idea of what will fit in one of these boxes. Oopsie, there we go. Yes, the metal dies, just to let you know right now, what I have are metal dies that are um, for instance, the Tonic Studios, I have the thicker ones from Anna Griffin, not very many, but I have a few of hers, which are thicker than these, and of course, it's her machine, so they fit, and I have Spellbinders dies, Sizzix dies, and the Nicole Silhouette dies, which are technically, um, considered unbranded, if you will, um, and all of them fit perfectly in that machine, and the embossing, Ooh la la, it's out of this world. It's, I, I cannot say enough about that machine. I'm very impressed with it. I don't get to pay to say that. Um, and I have to say it's, you know, it's changed my crafting game, if you will, because it is so wonderful. I absolutely love it. Okay, so this is the rubber eraser. It looks, it's the ugliest friend you're ever going to have. <laughs> but... It's going to be a loyal friend if you use it, because this is what helps your crafts look like, you know, semi-impeccable. And I'm going to say semi because, you know, you have to be careful. But this is what I'll use to remove any excess adhesive that might be peeking out here and there, you know. And when in doubt, just add glitter. <laughs> um, special sandwich. Hi, Monica. Thank you for joining us. So, yes, the steel rule die, uh, those will not fit in, in fact, let me show you again. And I'm sorry, it's just I have to lift my camera to show you guys. Um, okay, so, and don't mind my mess. I'm crafting for Christmas. See the opening here? Let me move my camera. And I'm sorry if I make you guys dizzy, but I just want to show you. This opening here, see how it's only like two fingers wide? This is excellent for the thinner dies, but I have the Spellbinders here, right here, this for the thicker ones. So this is, let me show you from this angle. This is the one that I use for the, the thicker dies. Highly recommend, it's a total workhorse. Um, and sorry guys, I'm gonna cover that so I don't make you dizzy. There we go. I apologize for all the movement, um, but yeah. That's what I will use because um, it's the first really good machine that I ever got was that Spellbinders one. And, um, oh, you're very welcome. Now, let's see, does this fit? Will it fit? First, let me go ahead, you know what? I wanna make sure that I don't ruin this, so there we go, okay. First, let's see if the Christmas card or gift card fits in there, and I think it's going to. If I didn't glue the whole thing down, duh. <laughs> Quick to the rescue, <laughs> pull the tabs. I think I put glue underneath the little tabs. Oh, la, 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 la. Don't do what I do, guys. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, I think I ruined it, but I think the card would fit there if I didn't mess it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Here we go. Hug, hug the card. <laughs> All right, so it would fit in there. All right. 
And then this, of course, will go in here and you're all set. You can now what I want to find out, though, I'm going to take this out for a second. What I want to find out is, does it drop all the way to the bottom? Nope, it doesn't. So that's one feature that I wasn't very clear on. But see how it pokes out a little bit there? So if you make several, now you know that you're, if you make them this size, you're only going to be able to fit so many in there. Okay? Um, let's see here. So you had a Sizzix and it broke. Judy, I've never used a Sizzix except for the old crank one. You remember back in the day they were long, about as long as this and red and they had a big crank. I had that one. That was the first die cut machine I ever had, um, which is now considered a dinosaur, of course. Um, but uh, Spellbinders, again, I cannot say anything negative about that company because everything I've ever owned Spellbinders has been phenomenal. Um, my issue is it's me, my hands, not the machines. So because of the pain that I was having, and I've already had two elbow surgeries, I'm not even about to try to get another one, then that's why I moved on from that. By the way, guys, let me show you quickly before I forget. This does cut out the little stamp uh, piece here. It cuts out the little square, which I didn't cut, and then it cuts out these little hearts. How sweet is that? which I think is gonna be redundant here because there's so much gold. But I do have some Rene Bouquet pieces here. Um, you're very welcome. The expression, um, the expression. Okay, so um, I don't know if you're naming a brand, but the Anna Griffin machine that I just showed over there is the Empress. Oh, by Sizzix. Oh, I see. So you had the expression by Sizzix. I understand you now. Sorry about that. I understand. Yeah, again, never worked with a Sizzix machine other than that old cranky one. <laughs> All right, guys, should I put her there? What do you guys think? She needs a background, though. I don't think she could go there by herself. Or I have one of these Christmas butterflies from Renee Bouquets. They kind of get lost anyway. So let me go ahead and do another little square, which I'm just going to use my guillotine here to cut that out. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Um... So I'm going to measure this out very quickly here because I'm going to give it a little foundation here. Let's see here. This measures, so that little tiny square, by the way, is two and three quarters by one and a half. But the entire box is, with the decorative piece, six and one, two, three, three fifths, is it? No, wait, three eighths. Yes, six and three eighths. Sorry about that. And just under four inches wide. And guys, I apologize. I read from right to left and I keep forgetting no, nobody else does. <laughs> so just under four inches wide there. Just so you know. Okay. Oh, Judy, I apologize. I have to tell you that this is a relic of a paperback. <laughs> as far as the uh, this decorative paper is recollections from, I don't even know what year. It's that old. The gold, however, let me show you that, is from DCWV. And this is also old. It's called uh, Mercury, Mercury Glass. That's the company. And it, Again, I, I think I got this at Tuesday morning. See? Yeah, I did. So that's from... What month is this? Oh my gosh, 2002. Wait, is that possible? No, I don't think so. It can't be. <laughs> I don't even know. Whatever that means. But yeah, I don't think it could be that. No, I don't even know. 2019, I think? June, June 2019? Yep, very old. 
All right, so I'm gonna do this at one and, oh, my mathematics left my brain real quick. One and a quarter, I think I wanna cut it at. Yep, one and a quarter. Thank you, Veronique. But I combine old and new. I don't get too caught up in what's the latest and greatest paper, even though I love all paper collections, I'm not gonna lie. But if I have something in a drawer and I run into it, then I go, okay, you're good enough for me today, you know? Um, I'm more picky about, you know, other things than I am about paper, I guess. Um, even though I am starting to make my own digital paper, so I don't want to be a hypocrite, you know, about that sort of thing. I do love it. I like it all. Um, but I'm venturing into that right now, and I'm really enjoying it also. So I'm just going to put this here, which is going to give it a, a different look, but it's for a good reason. I'm creating a backdrop here, and you guys let me know, should I put this beautiful lady here? I've got one looking to the right, looking to the left. I don't know. I guess this one, I don't know. I think I, I broke it by accident or something. I don't even know. Okay, here we go. I can put her there, which I think looks darling. Or I can use the Christmas butterfly. I have that one. And I also have it in gold. And these, by the way, are all from Renee Bouquets. You can pick these items up in her shop currently. So the, here's the gold one. Let me replace that. I'm gonna let you guys vote on that. So let's call this number one, two, or three. And I'll put on here whichever one you guys say I should. I'm gonna zoom in just a little so you can see a little bit better there. Because I like all three. I, it doesn't matter to me. I think they're all lovely. One or two? Okay. So I can remove this one. One or three? Okay, so I'm getting two votes for number one. Any other votes? So far, she's winning. <laughs> Let me show you the detail, by the way. If you ever shop from Renee Bouquets, which I highly recommend, of course, because her products are lovely, you're going, you're going to get top-of-the-line uh, imagery on the uh, chipboard pieces. One or three. One. Okay, I have three votes for number one so far, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Vintage Lady. And I'm going to apply her with hot glue so that she doesn't move on me. I think it's gonna look classy. Just like that. So darling, isn't it? I really, you know, I didn't expect to like it as much as I do. And then here's the little ribbon that I can put on the closure here. I'm going to move some things to the side here. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just tie a little bow. doesn't have to be anything complicated. kind of like to double knot things if I need it to have a horizontal perspective. But thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. I really have enjoyed making this and figuring it all out and laughing at myself in the process, of course, because I make so many mistakes. Um, but I'm going to try not to fiddle too much with the bow because I'm, I'm thinking maybe some uh, red up here would finish it off. And of course, that can be done in so many different ways. I'm trying to figure out what I have on hand. Um, what do I have? I sometimes forget, guys. It's horrible. Or pearls, of course, because you can never go wrong with pearls. Um, let me see here. 
you know what? Let me take a look here. I have... Oh, you know what? Mm. Nope. Try not to be indecisive. This kind of caught my eye. And I was thinking that would look really pretty there. Just on the top. Pretty classy, don't you think? So I think I'm going to go with that because I do have these other ones that I could cut that I've colored. I have this sort of thing that you can color with an alcohol marker, but I think that kind of gets lost. Yeah, it's too pink. And I'm wondering, I can't remove the shanks though. It is a button, but I think it looks lovely. So. Yes, absolutely. Happy accident all the way around. <laughs> So I was thinking if I put the, um, I also thought to put the butterfly up there, but I don't know if that's too much. What do you guys think? Should I go with the butterfly up the, on the top? Because I can do that too. Yes, this is a faceted one. And it is a button. And I, I think I got this at Michael's. Michaels or Joann's? Red one? Oh, okay. All right. So here's a uh, butterfly. It does have a little pearl center and it has the little gold dots, if you can see that. So that's what that looks like. And then the other one would be this situation, which is going to require some serious hot glue. <laughs> uh like that and i'm sorry these tacky nails are getting in the way oh goodness gracious i'm trying to show it without it slipping but i have to hold it because if not it's going to slip merci veronique butterfly okay so i have two for butterfly all right I think the butterfly is, um, it's very apt for this because it's got the, the, uh, what it looks like is lace that's folded, if you know what I mean, uh, pleated lace, and then it has the bow in the center. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the butterfly just to complete that kind of vintage -y look. So let's go with that. And these do come with their own little um, little wires there. I somehow got a sequin on that. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and have to place it down first and then fiddle with the little wires. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put her there. Kind of more toward the top so you see the... Always have a situation with the, <laughs> with the glue. And you can, I mean, you can bend these, you can separate these, however you like. But that is the finished project there. You can go crazy adding gems all through the sides, as you guys have seen me do in the past with other projects. Or, look, at, I just untied it. <laughs> or uh, Nouveau Drops, that sort of thing. Totally up to you how crazy you go with the crafting as far as detail and how much fun you have with it. Yes, it definitely should be. You're right. This this tonality of red is the same as the bow in the butterfly. Um, I only wish I had used better quality paper. <laughs> oh, gosh. But here's what I'm going to do. Since you guys have been so kind to me today, I'm going to give this away to one of you ladies here. I would like for you... Let's see. How can I do this? Um, <laughs> and Veronique, I don't know if this would be worthwhile to you because of the shipping costs being so astronomical to overseas. But if you guess the number, what I'll do is if you have PayPal, then I will send you a little something on PayPal. 
because it'll be better than, you know, the value of the project. Okay? So, those of you who are still here and have stuck with me, I'm going to write down a number. Let's see, where am I going to write it? The girl who never has a pen. Um, right here. Okay, I'm going to write a number. And I need two more thumbs up, please. <laughs> I'm going to ask for them because I had at least seven people here and I only had uh, three thumbs up, I think it was, or something like that. So I'm asking for cooperation. And what I'll do, of course, is I'm going to add a little something more inside of the box, guys, okay? So... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hi, Samantha. Thank you for joining us. Perfect timing. <laughs> so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write a number here, okay? Between, well, there's only how many of you guys? Hi, Eve, thank you for joining us. A number between one, and 60 okay and whoever comes closest will be the winner of this adorable little mailbox that we made together okay so when I say go you guys can pick a number all right so think of a number between one and what did I say one and 60 Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> and I'll let you know who's gotten the closest after everyone responds. Let's see here. I've got... Da, 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 da. Is that all the responses? Now I have to check and see. I see that there are at least six people here because I think it counts me when I have my cell phone. So let me see here, one, two, three, four, five. There's one more person who could respond, but I think that person's been watching silently the entire time. So is that all? No, because I, I got eight thumbs up. Huh, interesting. Okay, so far, those are all the responses that I have. So I'm not gonna open it up to anyone else. The winner of this little mailbox is, here's the number, 37 was the number, and the one who got the closest was Eve Ara. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. You just joined us, Eve. Eve, please email me at paintsandglitter at gmail.com with your address, okay? And in that email... You're going to have to tell me, first of all, um, the title of the video that you watched, okay? And also, let's see here. You're very welcome, honey. Very, very welcome. Um, what other detail? If you can remember, let's see here. I'm trying to think because sometimes people email and it's not the person who's won. I'm just going to trust that it's going to be Eve, okay? All right. So unless you are comfortable putting your email address in the comments, if not, don't worry about it. But Eve, you'll, you'll be receiving this in the mail. I'm going to uh, hopefully be getting to the post office tomorrow. Okay. And congratulations. Thank you for joining I hope this is not the the last uh, YouTube video that you watch on my channel. And the rest of you, I do so very much appreciate you being here with me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry, Judy. You know what, though? Be sure to um, watch other videos that I post because... Not the last. Um, because I do random giveaways on this channel. 
rather than asking for people to mail things in to me and stuff like that, even though I appreciate everything that I'm ever given, I, I really do. But every now and then, that's what I like to do is just a, a random giveaway just to say thank you to those who support this channel and um, are so very kind to keep me company as I craft. Um, yes, God bless you also. Okay. But I'm now going to go tend to my family and get this ready to ship. <laughs> So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, if I haven't answered anything, if you have any doubts about what I uh, did, then please let me know. You know that you can email me or message me through Instagram. Oh, thank you, Angie. It is a true blessing, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful Christmas season. I know that it's not always uh easy for everyone because due to the circumstances of course that are happening right now with family distancing and all of that um but just know that you can come to this channel and you're always going to have clean conversation and good company because all the ladies that tune in are just absolutely fabulous and i do truly appreciate you i thank you for having supported my channel this throughout this past year with all of the design team projects and all of that so if you don't hear from me in the rest of December, just know that I'm thinking of you and that I hope to see you also in the new year, okay? You're very, very, very welcome. Thank you for having been here. God bless, guys. Ciao. Merci. You're, you're welcome. Thank you, ladies.